So the other day I was scrolling through my Twitter timeline and ran into a meme pertaining to Onalaska Wisconsin's severed head in Applebee's. I have no idea where this rumor came from, I doubt it's true, but I decided to let curiosity get the best of me and look up Onalaska Wisconsin's Applebee's. And I should not have gone on the reviews, that's all I'm gonna say. I should. Unfortunately, most of the reviews that I saw are gone now. Some of them were really hilarious, but the ones that I did happen to snag were off of uh, the social media app that we will not be naming in this video. But these are the screenshots and the reactions of me reading them. Enjoy the video. The food was alright, I will admit. Your average microwaved Applebee's experience. It wasn't until I had to use the restroom that I noticed a severed head in one of the toilets. Other than that, it was fine and I had no other complaints. I'd recommend they do something about that as I don't believe it should be there. Food was alright and the service was decent. Though when I went to the bathroom, there was unmistakably a severed head in the toilet. I just moved to another stall, so it wasn't an issue that affected my dining experience. <laughs> Came here with my family and the food and service was pretty on par with the other restaurants in the area, so no real complaints there. My only problem was when I took my son to the restroom to poop, we found a severed head in one of the toilets. All the other stalls were occupied at the time, so he ended up having to still use that stall. That poor, poor goddamn son, oh my- Is the severed head still there? Last time I went I got to use it. I'm really hoping I can see him again. I was there not too long ago and it was still there. <laughs> Is there a severed head in the restroom here? Yes. <laughs> Fantastic staff. Our waiter's name was Sab, and while I believe he was an amazing worker, everyone else didn't want- <laughs> Who is Sab? <laughs> I'm not sure if this is because of some distrust with the staff or what, but without a doubt, the highlight of our night was the severed head in the men's king size stall. Well, I wonder who did that. Hmm. It had been there for a couple of days because of its decomposition. You guys also have great fajitas. <laughs> the food was pretty decent as well as the staff. However, the severed head in the male's bathroom toilet was pretty unsettling. On the whole, a positive experience that... I'm not saying all that. The food was good. The staff was friendly. I accidentally pissed on the severed head in the toilet. And the drinks were quite refreshing and well made. I will unfortunately have to deduct one star as the wait times were rather long and the steak was slightly overcooked. But I and tend to return oh dear lord i had a wholesome 100 experience here i was recommended to come by keanu reeves i was hesitant to go because i wanted to moderate my discord server but i eventually went and did not regret it at all easily the best restaurant i've ever been to the only complaint is that they still had the <laughs> Halloween decorations up. In the handicapped stall in the bathroom, there was a severed human head in the toilet. If it wasn't so close to Halloween, I would have believed it was real. <laughs> but all around, I was outstanding service and quality. I completely pogged when I was delighted with the food. I will definitely come here every Sunday after worshiping Danny DeVito at church. I had a waitress named <laughs> <laughs> Big Chungus, and I believed I tipped her with reddit gold because she did such an r slash amazing job And I loved her exaggerated swagger. I wouldn't change a thing besides the decapitated brain and skull of a blonde White male that clogged my toilet, but I wasn't really a problem because I just sat down and unloaded on it. <laughs> Completely leaving me unaffected the end what a story oh my god my experience at this fine establishment was a memorable one the food gave me tears we got the chicken wonton tacos as a starter delicious i had to go with the classic broccoli chicken alfredo as my main course i felt like i was sitting down overlooking the ocean of gagini and uh, what? When I ate this finely crafted dish, the trouble began with our waiter, Marques. He gave off an almost... <coughs> I don't quite know how to explain it. He claimed to be some sort of... <laughs> 
The way he leaps off of rooftops and flips backwards to face the camera before falling into a headfirst dive is just full of the exaggerated swagger of a black teen. It gives me goosebumps every time he does it. He claimed to be some sort of acrobat. I couldn't grasp what he was talking about, saying all sorts of slang. To me, it's almost as if he was speaking his own language. We managed to get our orders in order before my wife of 42 years, Clarice, had to use the bathroom. She claimed that there was a severed head in the toilet. I doubt it because she has mild bipolar syndrome and didn't take her meds. The food really calmed her down because of how exquisite it was. I will most definitely be returning, but with some other acquaintances and hopefully get a different waiter. With less of the exaggerated swagger, absolutely spectacular food. Service was great. Took my wife and <laughs> diabetic daughter, and there were tons of options for my little angel. The only complaints I have is that the waitresses were too cute. My wife made me sleep on the couch that night. And also a severed head in one of the toilets in the minster bathroom. Five stars. I would absolutely come back here with my wife's boyfriend someday. So wholesome. Oh my gosh. I was on the road driving up into Canada and desperately needed a bathroom. So I stopped at this Applebee's. The employees were very kind and directed me to the men's bathroom when I asked. I went in, unzipped, closed my eyes, and released. I felt great after relieving myself until I opened my eyes and I kid you not, saw a severed head in the toilet. My god! I just peed on two severed heads! <laughs> My friend Dave and I decided to spend our Saturday night at Applebee's, but unfortunately after entering the establishment, I was bludgeoned with a tire iron. I woke up on the street <laughs> with some surgical scarring <laughs> that suggested my kidneys were gone. <laughs> Dave was nowhere to be seen. Upon returning to Applebee's, <laughs> I found Dave's head in the men's bathroom. <laughs> Two out of five would have rated higher and had the decency to leave Dave's head in the women's bathroom. Do not go in the bathroom! Food and service were delicious. The nice decor and sweet vibe truly exemplifies the exaggerated swagger of the Applebee's restaurant. My only complaint would be the severed human head in the men's restroom. But it didn't keep me and my girlfriend, Bianca, from having a good time. Five stars! <laughs> Employees let me eat the head in the toilet for free! We'll definitely be back. Uh, no, I'm done. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. <laughs>